Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to print from your Google Nexus 7 tablet or any other Android tablet and even on, on, a, on an Android smartphone. Um, the, the app that I will be showing out right here is Print Hand. Look at that, looks very nice. Uh, print Hand, you could try it for free. It will let you just uh, print a test page, that's it. But you could try it out and you can see all the nice features that it has. Um, I actually purchased it. It's a $4.99 price and I'm telling you it's very worth it. So right here, let's go ahead and set it up. Uh, just make sure I'm doing this with my photo um, HP Photoshop D100. Um, it works on any printer as long as it has wireless. Um, here, when you launch the app for the first time, it automatically, since both print um, the tablet and the printer, it's in the same network, automatically it's going to find your printer right here. It automatically found my printer. So here, you just go ahead and complete setup. When you complete setup, you're going to see your printer right there. Just go ahead and click it. And right now, it tells you that you can use the generic the generic um, drivers that this app has or you can select your printers driver so you can have more options I recommend doing the select menu and go and look look for the drivers of your printer it's very easy um, you click menu you click next and automatically it's gonna look for all the drivers of every printer you can think of look at all the brands from Sony, Canon, whatever. So let's go ahead and choose mine, HP. There's a shitload of printers here. So let's go Photo Smart because mine is a Photo Smart. And let's go and get mine. Mine is the D110. Let's see. I recommend doing this because um, when you do this, you will actually, every time you print, Every time you print, you're going to have more options when it comes to letter sizes, when it comes to picture sizes. If you don't do this, uh, you're just going to use the normal settings that the app has. It will still work. So right here, look at it. It's right there. So now tell me to install the driver. I'll say yes. Boom. Um, so now it's going to tell me if I want to do a sprint test. Uh, skip. I'm just going to skip the print test. And have a good finish, whatever. Um, I couldn't. Let me see if it lets me see. Now I have a whole bunch of options. When I choose uh, paper, printout mode, I have a whole bunch of options. Um, tray, I have a whole bunch of options. It, that's very good. Okay, so once you got the drivers installed in everything here, you got files, you got gallery, you got web pages, you got docs, you got emails, you got contacts, and you got calendars. Um, let's go ahead and, and print for a contact, uh, a file, and let's go take any, let's go to a folder here. Um, let's take this document. Keep in mind, it'll print any kind of document, PDF, uh, Word, Excel. So here you got already the option to print. You can choose it to print it. And here you got your printer. If you want to change printer, you could have more than one printer here too. Uh, the letter size, the type of letter you want to be, do it. Is it legal, letter, whatever. Um, print out mode. You got all these options. You could, could, If it's a color document and you want to print it to a, a, a to uh, black and white you could go here and go normal scale right high quality black and white and um, your tray and very nice let's go ahead and print this document um, here is gonna once you choose to print it's gonna choose tell you how many copies you want you want the justice all selected or one let's go ahead and print one and there it goes Of course, the speed of the printing is all going to be depending on your printer. Like I said, you know, my printer is not that fast, but this has nothing to do. The speed of the printing document has nothing to do with the app. Just keep that in mind. And that's it. Now you got the document printed perfectly. Very nice.
nice. Uh, disregard this. This was me messing up, messing with the document using the touch screen in a, in a, in a stylus. But it, the document came out perfectly. Uh, okay, so here you can also print from gallery uh, pictures from your gallery. You could choose a, a, a picture, and right there you could go ahead and choose print, print, and look at that a screenshot from my phone. And here you could go ahead and choose if it's a picture, you could go ahead and choose a picture. And look at that four by six, very nice, and it works very, very nice. Um, let's go here to Google Docs right now it's connect it's linked to my Google Docs so in here you could choose from different Google Docs if you have I have two Google Docs account so right here let's go ahead and print um, let's go ahead and print um, okay the Apple care protection proof plan I got there uh, this is a very old document you can preview it before you print it you go ahead and you like I said here you got all the other options you could go ahead and, and here and print from Google Docs so right now this document being printed is go printing from the Google Docs which is very cool look at that <laughs> okay now the size of the printer was small but that's because some setting I got here that's because I didn't change it was at four by six that sucks <laughs> that's why if I would have it in letter let's go ahead and print now the letter <laughs> this, this totally screwed me up <laughs> so now it's supposed to come in normal size don't do the same mistake I did make sure you change the size of the document of your page layout so now I got a perfect copy of my document <laughs> so and here is very this is a very nice feature too which I found it very interesting you can print from your emails you can print emails so right here let's say this is the purchase of this app that I did today look at see look here Google thank you ba -ba -ba -ba. and like I see you could go through all your email and you here you could change from your inbox to your trash to your sent deleted messages um, you could go anywhere any folder you have in your Google account so let's go ahead and print that the confirmation that I got from from Google thanking me for the purchase and let's choose print um, keep in mind you can also choose if you choose a landscape boom and you choose print you can also it also works so it makes no difference if you put it like that or like this it looks very nice there too here you can go ahead and change the quality same as always and you can also ch change the page orientation landscape I want a landscape so here it is you change it landscape if you want no margins you got here no margins and let's go ahead and put it again portrait and let's go ahead and choose to print and now it's printing it's printing from my email that is very nice another thing is that you can also print contacts or you could print your calendar if you go to contacts and you go and choose somebody here boom I choose print you're gonna see automatically their information, their name, their information. If they got emails and everything, it will print that too. That is very nice. And let's say you want to print a document from Dropbox. You are at Dropbox and you want to print a document from your Dropbox. So let's go ahead and I say, you know what? I want to print this document. Boom. When you hit the document, at Dropbox is gonna tell you what you what app do you want to open it so here you got the option to print hand let's go print hand boom and there it is so I choose to print from there let's go and print and it should work perfectly so now I'm printing from Dropbox 
So like you can see, you could print from anywhere. It doesn't matter. You could print from documents from your phone. You could print from documents on any app, your Google Drive, SkyDrive, whatever. All you got to do, even an attachment, if you open an attachment, it's going to ask you what you want to do with the attachment, right? So you just choose print hand and automatically it's going to work. Automatically it's going to be able to choose, like I see right here, look at that. <laughs> page for ring sizing guide right now very cool so guys um and this is it for this app i'm gonna record another video but the other video is gonna cover a little bit more for the galaxy s3 which has a couple features that this one doesn't because it's a phone so guys i hope you guys liked the video so let me know what you guys think till next time